Theseus recognized by his father by Epilete Flandron in Greek mythology, Aegis was an archaic figure in the founding myth of Athens. The goat man who gave his name to the Aegean Sea was, next to Poseidon, the father of Theseus, the founder of Athenian institutions and one of the kings of Athens. Aegis was the son of Pandion II, king of Athens and Pilia, daughter of King Pylos of Megara and thus, brother to Pallas, Nissus, Lycos and the wife of Skyron. But, in some accounts, he was regarded as the son of Sirius or Phemius and was not of the stock of the Erechtheids, since he was only an adopted son of Pandion. Aegis' first wife was Meta, daughter of Hoplis and his second wife was Chalciope, daughter of Rexenor, neither of whom bore him any children. He was also credited to be the father of Metis by the witch Medea. In a rare account, Pallas was also said to be the son of Aegis. Themis and Aegis. Attic red figure Kylix, 440-430 BC Aegis was born in Megara where his father Pandion had settled after being expelled from Athens by the sons of Metian who seized the throne. After the death of Pandion, now king of Megara, Aegis in conjunction with his three brothers successfully attacked Athens, took control over the government and expelled the usurpers, the Machinids. Then, they divide the power among themselves but Aegis obtained the sovereignty of Attica, succeeding Pandion to the throne. It has been said that Megara was at the time a part of Attica, and that Nisus received his part when he became king of that city. Lycus became king of Euboea whereas Pallas received the southern part of the territory. Aegis, being the eldest of the brothers, received what they all regarded as the best part, Athens. The division of the land was explained further in the following text by the geographer Strabo. When Attica was divided into four parts, Nisus obtained Megaris as his portion and founded Nisaea. Now, according to Philochorus, his rule extended from the Isthmus to the Pythium, but according to Andron, only as far as Eleusis and the Thriasian plain. Although different writers have stated the division into four parts in different ways, it suffices to take the following from Sophocles, Aegis says that his father ordered him to depart to the shorelands, assigning to him as the eldest. The best portion of this land, then to Lycus he assigns Eubea's garden that lies side by side therewith, and for Nisus he selects the neighboring land of Scaron shore, and the southerly part of the land fell to this rugged palace. Breeder of Giants. Later on, Lycus was driven from the territory by Aegis himself, and had to seek refuge in Erine, Mycenae, which was ruled by King Apharius. Pallas and his fifty sons revolted at a later time, being crushed by Aegis' son Theseus. To say Ricanu par son pair by Antoine Placide Gibbert still without a male heir with his previous marriages, Aegis asked the oracle at Delphi for advice. According to Pausanias, Aegis ascribed this misfortune to the anger of Aphrodite and in order to conciliate her introduced her worship as Aphrodite Urania in Athens. The cryptic words of the oracle were do not loosen the bulging mouth of the wineskin until you have reached the height of Athens, lest you die of grief. Aegis did not understand the prophecy and was disappointed. This puzzling oracle forced Aegis to visit Pythias, king of treason, who was famous for his wisdom and skill at expounding oracles. Pythias understood the prophecy and introduced Aegis to his daughter, Aethra when Aegis was drunk. They lay with each other, and then in some versions, Aethra waded to the island of Spheria and bedded Poseidon. When Aethra became pregnant, Aegis decided to return to Athens. Before leaving, he buried his sandal, shield, and sword under a huge rock and told her that, when their son grew up, he should move the rock and bring the weapons to his father, who would acknowledge him. Upon his return to Athens, Aegis married Medea, who had fled from Corinth and the wrath of Jason. Aegis and Medea had one son named Metis. When Theseus grew up, he found his father's belongings left for him and went to Athens to claim his birthright. Aegis recognized him as his son by his sword, shield, and sandals. Medea, Aegis' wife perceived Theseus to be a threat for her children's inheritance and first tried to discredit and then to poison Theseus. When Aegis discovered these schemes, he drove Medea out of Athens. While visiting in Athens, King Minos' son, Androgeus managed to defeat Aegis in every contest during the Panathenaic Games. Out of envy, Aegis sent him to conquer the Marathonian bull, which killed him. Minos was angry and declared war on Athens. He offered the Athenians peace, however, under the condition that Athens would send seven young men and seven young women every nine years to Crete to be fed to the Minotaur, a vicious monster. This continued until Theseus killed the Minotaur with the help of Ariadne, Minos' daughter. Arrival or departure of a young warrior or hero, maybe Theseus arriving at Athens and being recognized because of his sword by Aegis. 
Apulian red-figured volute crater, ca. 410 to 400 BC, from Ruvo. After his adventures in Crete, Theseus returned by ship to Athens. His father, Aetus previously had asked him to hang a white sail as a sign that Theseus is alive, but Theseus neglected this request. When Aegis saw Theseus' ships without a white sail, he assumed the worst and threw himself in his grief into the sea, named after him the Aegean Sea. In treason, Theseus grew up and became a brave young man. He managed to move the rock and took his father's weapons. His mother then told him the identity of his father and that he should take the weapons back to him at Athens and be acknowledged. Theseus decided to go to Athens and had the choice of going by sea, which was the safe way, or by land, following a dangerous path with thieves and bandits all the way. Young, brave and ambitious, Theseus decided to go to Athens by land. When Theseus arrived, he did not reveal his true identity. He was welcomed by Aegis, who was suspicious about the stranger who came to Athens. Medea tried to have Theseus killed by encouraging Aegis to ask him to capture the Marathonian bull, but Theseus succeeded. She tried to poison him, but at the last second, Aegis recognized his son and knocked the poison cup out of Theseus' hand. Father and son were thus reunited, and Medea was sent away to Asia. Theseus departed for Crete. Upon his departure, Aegis told him to put up white sails when returning if he was successful in killing the Minotaur. However, when Theseus returned, he forgot these instructions. When Aegis saw the black sails coming into Athens, mistaken in his belief that his son had been slain, he killed himself by jumping from a height, according to some. From the Acropolis or another unnamed rock, according to some Latin authors, into the sea which was therefore known as the Aegean Sea. Sophocles' tragedy Aegis has been lost, but Aegis features in Euripides' Medea. At Athens, the traveller Pausanias was informed in the 2nd century C that the cult of Aphrodite Urania above the Karamakos was so ancient that it had been established by Aegis, whose sisters were barren, and he still childless himself. There was a Harun of Aegeus in Athens, called Aegean. Thanks for watching.